Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We're gonna, and so we're going to get into this here because we've got Mo and we've got Will. We're going to get into this. We've got, we've got Roy here, I think, like I said, for about an hour. Roy, do you want to... At wanna, least an hour. If, if I can stay longer, I'll stay. You are welcome to stay, sir. Ah! <laughs> You're welcome you to stay. Up about barbecue, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. So before we get too deep into anything here, Roy, do you want to bring us up to speed a little bit with what's going on with Brown Owls on the... Uh, the uh, retail side of what's going on in the industry. I know the news dropped a few days ago that we've got record gun sales for this year. I think over 7 million firearms right, sold right. this I year. Saw, um, I saw a news story today that the NICS checks for April, mm -hmm. were they, they dipped down a little bit from March. March was just absolutely insane. April dipped down, but April 2020 is still in the top four months ever for NICS checks. So gun sales are kind of slowing down a little bit from where they've been. They're still high, but they're, they're coming down a little bit. The, the thing we continue to see at Brownells is ammo comes in, goes on the shelf, and then goes away. Okay. Yeah. Ammo comes in, it gets officially received, logged in, goes on our warehouse shelves, and then it, it disappears. Okay. Uh, the last time I think you asked me, I think I uh, uh, researched on my phone and we had like only three SKUs of nine millimeter left. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm proud to say that right before the show started, we had seven SKUs of okay. nine millimeter left. We usually have about 125 different versions of nine millimeter. Right. But just for the show started, we had seven types of nine millimeter in, in stock and we usually carry about 125. So that's up from three. It's It's like... 100% increase or more. Okay. But, so um, is there is we, there a... Is, I do know we had some 124 grain stuff in stock. Okay. So is there any... I, I think the last time you said it was 9mm and 5.56. Five, 5.56, five, six. Five, five, six, yeah. Right. Same thing. Is there any uh, kind have, of slowdown going on or you're we're still at the same rate uh, according to... I know I know we can't give out like specific numbers and things right, like that. Right. Yeah. It, there's a little bit of a slowdown. It's starting to come back down a little bit. Starting mm -hmm. to come back down a little bit. Uh because uh, I forget how many 5.56s five, five, we had in stock. I, I checked on if we had 5.56s five, five, in stock before mm -hmm. the show started. We did. Uh, they were mostly like match grade level stuff. Uh, and we had some Wolf, some of the uh, steel case stuff too. Mm -hmm. But uh, ammo still selling pretty heavily. Not as quite as high as it was. Still high, but coming mm -hmm. down a little bit. Okay, and then what about uh, gun sales? And I'm assuming that it's it, it's mostly handguns and not rifles so much, but fill me in on that. Am I right or wrong there? Um, lots of handguns. Uh, lots of uh, uh, stories in the news about first-time gun buyers. Mm -hmm. And most of those folks, when they buy a gun, they're buying a gun for home defense. Mm -hmm. And the number one type of gun they're buying is a handgun. So lots and lots and lots of handgun sales. Um one of the companies in the Brownells family of companies is Crow Shooting Supplies, mm -hmm. and I can't give out specific numbers, but they have sold, back in uh, March especially, a ton of guns. Crow Shooting Supplies is a wholesale company selling mostly to gun stores or big box stores like Shields and stuff like that. Oh, so uh, like a distributor? A distributor, okay. right, a wholesaler. Pro okay. Shooting Supply is a wholesaler mm -hmm. selling to other businesses. Uh, I can't give out specific numbers, but I know they sold a ton of guns out to other retailers. So, yeah, Brownells is selling some guns, but uh, big movements of guns on the wholesale side. Okay, okay, cool. And, yeah, uh, and it, go ahead, Will. It, it's got to be a lot of rifles and, and parts, too. And, and I know this because I'm a consumer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ah, so <laughs> I, obviously, <laughs> yeah, everyone you know, here. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, you know, I had I had a few uh, uh, rifles on hand before all mm -hmm. this started, um, but you know, I've always got a you know, I'm like every other gun nut, and I've always got a project, and I'm out there looking for parts. You can't find parts. You can't find lower parts kits. You can't find mm -hmm. uppers. You know, especially when you're looking for tier top, you know, tier one products. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot. There's a lot of sales. I I just see from a consumer across the board. Okay. Uh, right. In long guns too. Yeah. Right. For example, and God I'm, bless I'm America. To build a couple of polymer 80s into handguns. Okay. And we don't have any lower parts kits, man. We don't have wow. any uh, frame kits, and okay. I need those parts to build my two polymer 80 pistols. So yeah, I feel your pain. 
That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting to note that the parts um, side of that is still going up. So let me do this. I'll kind of like go around here. We can start with Will and then go to Roy and then go to Mo. That that way we'll give uh, everyone a chance to think about this. Will, what's what like? What's on your list? What's on your shopping list? Your uh, of guns that you're looking for right now. Okay, so I I do have a little niche. Um, mm-hmm. After 11 months of wait, uh, I picked up this week my M16A1 uh, okay. transferable. It's a Department right. of Energy uh, gun, and what I was wanting to do was modernize the, the lower, save all the original parts, but I want to make somewhat of an MP7 clone, um, and I want to uh, modernize. I was going to use all BCM parts. That's I don't know if... I can say all the specifics, yeah, but I, that's, that's yeah, the stuff yeah. that I like. Mm-hmm. And I went to Brown, I went to Brown <laughs> and tried to get it, and it was out of stock. So oh, yeah. well. Uh, but anyway, I, I want to modernize uh-huh. it and then probably hit up uh, again and, and, and get a 5.7 conversion, a CMMG mm-hmm. conversion with the, with the full mag. Um, mm-hmm. And then probably, you know, so when you that, – that's the great thing about buying a transferable – you know, is, is and especially like on a platform like an M16, is the flexibility. Mm-hmm. So I also want to get a fight light uh, belt fed upper oh, and yeah. let let the thing rip. Uh, oh, so, that's fun. So anyway, I'm saving my <laughs> pennies. That's that's the short of it. I'm already broke from buying the uh, the gun, but it, it took 11 months. So I've yeah. recovered a little yeah. bit of funds since yeah. then, and uh, you you're just kind of trying to build it out. You will have to buy the Brownells barrel of ammo. You get that. You get that yeah. machine gun. Well, okay. Hey, all jokes aside, Brownells is a supply for already linked 62 grain ammo yes, to feed that fight light, so I don't have to hand link. Oh, you got it. Yes, we so, do. Yeah, I know this. You know, I, I oh. look at them. <laughs> okay, very cool. Very cool. Yes, I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll. Oh, that's that's that sounds good, man. Uh, let me know when you get that, so I can come visit you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, <laughs> Roy, let's go to you. What's what's on your list? You work at Brownells. Right, 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 yeah, right. So, so that doesn't I'm mean like, you could just walk around picking up stuff. Oh my Roy, gosh, how bitch. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. It might as well be that bad. First mm-hmm. I want to say I'm very jealous because here in Iowa, uh, the government of Iowa have not deemed it possible for mere peasants like me to own a class three. Uh, I mean, we just got short barreled rifles, yeah. short barreled shotguns and, sh- and suppressors. Mm-hmm. Can't do machine guns just yet as a private individual. Mm-hmm. Oh please baby. Oh please. Oh please. Someday. What is the what is the hold up on Nothing that? Nothing like a smile maker. Yeah, what, Set my people free. Yes. Why, it's, what's it's the hold up in Iowa on that? Iowa right now. Oh, it's just it's, oh. it hasn't been. Oh, I was one of those last few remaining states where machine machine guns cannot be possessed by mere peasant civilians like me. So oh. I'm incredibly jealous. Yeah. Congratulations on the M1681. <laughs> we, as we... far as me, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the weirdo. You know this, Hank. You know this. Um, on my priority list is I've got some weird calibers. It's going to be stock. big bore. I can tell. It's going to be an elephant gun. <laughs> well, I, I do need some, some 9.3 by 62 <laughs> Mauser ammo. Okay. I need some 458 SOCOM ammo. Mm-hmm. But as far as guns... Um, I really, really want like a short lever Martini Henry in four five zero point five seven seven, or I want a. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was the last one? What was the last one? A flintlock brown bass musket as carried oh. by the British Army in the American Revolution. Oh. I already got the, the, so the flintlock cool. rifle. I okay. need a brown bass musket. Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Calvary Jaeger. Yeah. Yeah. If if you if you need someone to set up in in Iowa to uh, you know to like protest and help you know get machine guns on the thing, let me know. You know, as long as you find someone to make uh, food. Okay. I think know, we got somebody people. over here in this screen down here. Yeah, we can get, <laughs> we can get people over there. Uh, so Mo, what's what's on your list, man? I know you have a nice gun collection because I, I follow you on IG, so. <laughs> I got friends of mine who got like just <laughs> chest and chest full of guns. Mm-hmm. I don't have any 22s. All my stuff is like, you know, big caliber stuff, you know, like uh, oh, wow. I'm a big fan of 338s. Um, I've got a bolt action custom built carbon fiber proof barrel. Uh, only weighs nine pounds. It's got a, uh, you know, it's just a, just an awesome, awesome unit. And then I've got a, I just bought a Tavari 338 semi. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
And uh, so I'm good on my 338s. Um, for me, I want a high end, like a Trijicon Reap IR or something thermal. I oh, always thermal. watch Hawk oh. Killing Fields, man, shooting video. I just <laughs> I just love going down that technique. So to me, on my Christmas list is a Trijicon Reap IR. Uh, somebody wants to give Big Mo one, I'd be happy. <laughs> but that's what I want. Trijicon. But uh, that's what I want, man. I, I mean, I've got and that ammo. You know what I mean? I've got uh, I've got a pretty good selection of 338 ammo, and but you can never have enough, obviously. And so I got awesome. ammo cans for awesome. ammo. Um, I've got uh, I'm good friends with IWI. They have blessed me with some good stuff. So I've got uh, I just took it out last week in indoor gun range, but uh, that new Tavor 12 TS 12 12 gauge. That thing's a monster. Yeah, man. I, I'm a fan. I know you like bull pups, right? Because I think. I think yeah, you do like I've both got pups, a yeah. seven that behind me. That's mm-hmm. a, a three hundred eight, and then I've got the uh, TS twelve twelve mm-hmm. gauge uh, monster. Took it out; it was awesome. And then um, I got a Masada nine millimeter. Got a Desert Eagle fifty cal. Mm-hmm. Got a Glock. Uh, got a uh, uh, an early pair of ordnance. Uh, early pair of no- uh, pair of no- uh, pair of ordnance forty five high capacity. Back when they were good, mm-hmm. before they sold out to Remington. Mm-hmm. And uh, not to knock Remington, but you know they. No, that's fine. It. But uh, this is. I don't is, this think is, anyone's gonna complain. Yeah, yeah. Per- so, uh, is extinct now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, uh, but uh, I got an early, early version of that, and I love it. And uh, that's that. That's my carry so along 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 with my nine millimeter when I want to use my Masada. Mm-hmm. But then I've got you know, you know, uh, I've got uh, short uh, black rain ordnance pistol 556 five, that's a bad to the bone mm-hmm. oh that thing is bad to the bone mm-hmm. i love that so i got you know i got that i got a, C, a beautiful cmg that's my hog gun i got a three a cmg 308 just a beast and uh then i've got some bread of 12 gauges and um uh old school 10 gauge from uh browning uh which i love i never get rid of even though it's old school that oh, thing no, is man. straight uh, yeah hey if you want to clear some stuff, SD10? take that gauge brownie because that mad boy, man, that thing is no joke. Yeah, what and was that, you, Roy? Is that an SP10 or which one is the Browning model? Basic all black Browning. Uh, I can't remember the name, but a Browning 10 gauge. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.